introduction the tlc scanner 4 is the most advanced workstation for densitometric evaluation of tlc or hptlc chromatograms and other planar objects the tlc scanner 4 is a scanning densitometer it measures the reflection of separated compounds in absorption or fluorescence mode it is controlled by vision cat software the tlc scanner 4 enables quantitative evaluation of the generated densitometric data operation of tlc scanner 4 open the door of scanner 4 press on the load button situated on the top right side of the scanner 4 the stage will automatically come out keep the tlc or hp tlc plate on the stage and fix it at the bottom left corner of the stage inside the scanner 4 press on the load button in kemac tlc scanner 4 one can do scanning of tlc or hp tlc plate using single wavelength or multi wavelength option uv visible spectrum analysis can be done from a range of 190 nanometer to 900 nanometer using tlc scanner 4 parameters for performing uh, scanning in tlc scanner 4 click on the scanner icon select single lambda under scanner type under optimization for select light sensitivity selection of measurement mode depends on the activity of the separated compounds if the scanning need to be done under uv or visible range wavelength using deuterium or tungsten lamp then absorbance mode is selected If the scanning needs to be done under fluorescence wavelength using mercury lamp then fluorescence mode is selected the detector mode should be kept as automatic speed resolution slit is by default selected to hptlc if modification is done in any of the parameters like scanning speed data resolution and slit it will change to user defined Scanning speed and data resolution should be kept as 20 mm per second and 100 micrometer per step respectively. Slit is by default selected to 5 into 0.2 mm micro. If application length is changed from 8 mm then select the slit as 60 to 80% of the application length. Start and end scanning should be kept by default. under wavelength selection first select the lamp lamps as per the requirement such as deuterium tungsten uh, or mercury lamps and then select the specific wavelengths according to the lamps selected fill the concentration of standard and sample solutions click on the integration step and select the wavelength under which the scanning is done check individual tracks to view the separated peaks in each tracks click on easy mode and select manual mode under manual mode you can evaluate the peak rf and height at start end and max position evaluate peak area area percentage and height and height percentage for assigning names to separated peaks click on assign to and select the appropriate names substance assignment calibration and result steps under evaluation steps are required for the quantification multiple wavelength scanning select multiple lambda under scanner type by selecting absorbance in the measurement mode we can apply for scanning in multiple wavelengths from a start lambda to end lambda in multiple increments for uv visible range for uv range 190 nanometer to 5450 nanometer and visible range 371 nanometer to 900 nanometer by selecting fluorescence in the measurement mode we can apply for scanning in multiple wavelength from the fixed 13 wavelengths under fluorescence mode by selecting advanced option in the measurement mode we can apply for scanning in multiple wavelengths from uv range visible range and fluorescence specific wavelengths click on continue to do scanning and click on accept all 
Click on the plus sign placed next to the impurity test option to open an evaluation tab. Under the evaluation tab, click on plus sign and add the name of the substances which you want to identify and quantify. If more than one substance is there, then add multiple substance name by clicking on plus sign. Spectrum analysis. Select spectrum in the scanner type. Select resolution in the optimization for. Select absorbance mode in the measurement mode. The parameters for detector mode, speed or slit and the spectrum speed should, should be kept as by default. Slit is by default selected to 5 into 0.2 mm micro. If application length is changed from 8 mm, then select the slit as 60 to 80% of the application length. Under spectrum parameter, reference spectrum should be kept per plate. Select the purity option to take purity of the spectrum at the start end and at the center of the separated peaks or bands. Selection of lamps depend on the activity of the compounds under UV light, visible light and fluorescence light. If the compound is active in UV light, then spectrum is taken in the range from 190 nanometer to 400 nanometer using a deuterium lamp. And if the compound is active in visible light, then spectrum is taken in the range from 400 to 800 nanometer using a tungsten lamp. If the compound is active in UV and visible light, then spectrum is taken in the range from 190 to 900 nanometer using deuterium and tungsten lamps. X, Y and distance to peak center is kept as by default. After filling the parameters for the scanner 4, click on OK and continue to proceed with the spectrum step. You will be directed to the spectrum tab. Under the spectrum definition table, click on plus sign to add the substance name. Assign the substance with peaks in the left and band in the right under the substance positioning. Click on continue and execute the step. One by one spectrum will be generated. After all the spectrum is generated, accept all the spectrum. Click on substance under the spectrum data and check individual spectrum. Click on maximums option and select display maximum to check the lambda max. Click on correlation and check the correlation with the reference spectrum. To check the purity of the spectrum, click on the purity option. Check the purity of the spectrum at the center only or at center and slopes.